Hi there, Leonard Parker here. And thanks for clicking the video and taking a, taking a look. So in this video, I'm going to go over call tracking and how restoration business owners should be using call tracking when really trying to figure out what marketing channel and marketing strategy is working best for getting new leads. So if you're not familiar with call tracking, it's simply, let's go into presentation mode here. It's simply the process of determining how callers found your business. So thinking about caller ID, but taking it the next step and knowing where exactly did that call come from? Did it come from your organic, your SEO? Did it come from a ad, maybe on Google or Facebook? Did it come from your social media efforts? It really helps you figure out and narrow down where that call came from. And the reason why it's so beneficial is that uh, the main reason why it's beneficial is that it helps you figure out which marketing channel is providing the best ROI as far as more leads, more appointments and more jobs completed. Some other reasons why you want to use call tracking, uh, it'll help you understand where your customers are calling from. So maybe you're in an area that you, or you consider that you target maybe five different areas around your, 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 your office location. But you notice over the course of a few months, you're getting calls from a sixth area. Well, this might be an indication that there's a demand for your services in that area, and you might need to either add that area on your website, maybe do some networking in that area so that you can establish a stronger foothold in that, in that, in that, in that, in that area. It provides information on when they're calling, day and time. So, for instance, if you notice that you get the majority of your calls between 10 and 11 a.m. and you only have one person that is uh, answering those calls and uh, handling those leads, well, then, and maybe they're having a hard time keeping up, maybe it's a good idea to hire a second person or maybe have someone just fill in that role uh, during that time block. And that's just an example. Um, it could be any time or day during a week, but uh, it really helps you understand when you're getting the bulk of your calls. And let's just say that you find that uh, you know, your calls from organic are really you know, up during that nine to 10 o'clock block or 10 to 11. I think that's the example I use, 10, 10 to 11. Maybe that's an you know, indication that you should uh, increase your your, your AdWords bidding during that time block as well, just to double down on that time to try to get more calls and more leads coming in. And that's assuming if those leads and calls are qualified. Um, recovering your lost leads. So let's just say you're getting leads on a weekend or you're, you know, when no one's staffing the phone. Well, in those cases, uh, call tracking at least at a minimum gives you their phone number. So it's like a caller ID, but it also provides the voicemail. So you can pretty much listen to the entire voicemail before even giving them a call back. Uh, so that's, you know, just like a regular business phone system, you get your caller ID information and you get the, the voicemail. And then, you know, one of the important reasons why I like call tracking and this really applies to any type of restoration business, is that it provides insights into your team's customer service. So if you have someone answering the phone and you're trying to figure out, you're getting all these calls, but they're not really converting to leads, it might be as simple as the person answering the phone really isn't well trained or qualified to be taking in those calls. So that can be an indicator that maybe more training is needed. Maybe you need to bring on another person to help out. Or maybe you just need to replace that person altogether or put them on you know, some other work in your company. Uh, but it really provides insight into your team's customer service. And if you are using any type of you know, phone answering scripts, and I highly recommend that you do just to make sure everything is consistent and you're delivering your brand's message across the board every time. Uh, maybe there's someone that's not following a script or perhaps they are following the script and it's just not working very well. Maybe there are ob uh, objections that you have trained your sales staff on that really aren't working, or uh, maybe there are new objections that you haven't considered. 
in either case, any of these cases, call tracking can give you that insight to really help you determine next steps on how to build and develop your team. So how do you get call tracking for your marketing campaigns? Well, these are some of the, the more popular vendors out there. There are quite a few others, uh, but these are the vendors that we have used for our past and current campaigns. And each vendor is a bit different. The pricing is going to be, be a bit different for each, but uh, any of these vendors, it'll give you the functionality you need to really uh, you know, start using call tracking. So call tracking best practices, pick a local area code. And this is you know, a very small way, but it can work where you're building some type of camaraderie with that, you know, that target uh, customer, that, pro that, that target prospect. Whereas maybe you're competing with guys who are using eight, eight, eight numbers or they're using area codes from different cities or towns in your state. By using a local area code, you can actually, you know, show that, hey, we're based here in your area. Uh, we are part of the community and it just provides a little bit more camaraderie. Making sure that your tracking snippet is set up correctly on your website. So regardless of the vendor that you use, typically they're gonna provide some type of tracking snippet in order for you to install in your website. So whoever is managing your website, they'll basically track, you know, add that code, and it's usually just a line of code, uh, but basically this is very important for call tracking to work. And so I would suggest once that snippet is set up, you know, doing a test just to make sure that it's working correctly. Ensure you use a custom greeting. Uh, most call, most of the call tracking vendors, they do provide a, devo a default greeting, uh, but you know, that default greeting is, you know, some robot. So make sure that you or someone on your team, maybe they have a great speaking voice, you know, you provide a custom greeting, that way you've already started you know, building that camaraderie with that prospect uh, before they even get on a, the actual call with someone. Enable call whispering. And let's say this might be more relevant if you have a larger restoration operation, but let's say you have someone who only handles certain type of calls. Maybe there's someone who handles calls from certain channels, or let's say if you're using uh, referral networks, maybe there's only one person on your team who you know, specializes in handling those referral leads. Uh, the call whispering will give them that information on where that call is coming from. So highly recommended. Uh, minimize spam with an interactive voice response menu. And you've, uh, you probably didn't know what it was, but you probably used one of these before. You probably use them every week where maybe you call a doctor's office and uh, it says press one for Dr. So-and-so. It's pretty much the same idea here. And even if you only have one sales line, you know, make sure that, you know, you, you know, put in some instruction, press two or whatever to speak with a customer service representative. And that will really help minimize the spam calls. And, you know, that's actually one of the downsides of using call tracking. And it's my last bullet point here, but I'll mention it here is that you really have to stay vigilant with spam calls, meaning, you know, some of these numbers, they have been used in the past. So you might get folks who still have that number. They might be calling for a doctor or a dentist, but you provide restoration services. So obviously it's not, it's not a relevant call. So making sure that you stay vigilant on those calls, because sometimes you might just have to refresh the number because you keep getting a lot of wrong number calls, or, you know, even, you know, typically you're going to be charged by per call and per uh, call time. So making sure that you're communicating with your call tracking vendor that these calls are spam. You know, we should be getting credits for these calls. Uh, enable voice surveys. So uh, again, you want to get that feedback from your customers. So a voice survey can be a great way to get that feedback and make it easy for uh, your customers or even your prospective customers to provide that feedback. You see this a lot with banks where they'll ask you, would you be willing to stay on a call for a short survey after uh, the service representative have, have helped you? Uh, so voice surveys are a great feature and it's a great way to collect that feedback. Uh, use call routing. So let's say you, know, you offer 
different services, mold remediation, uh, roofing, repair, and so on. Uh, call routing, call routing can be a great way to route that call to the expert on your team who can best help that, that prospect uh, with the writing information and the information they need to know to take next steps. So call routing is also a very useful feature. And most of these features, you know, you're usually your regardless of the vendor that you're using, they're going to offer. They might call it something different, but uh, I would definitely recommend uh, leveraging these features if you go to call tracking route. And that leads me to the last slide here is if you should be using call tracking. And yeah, if you are relying on phone calls for lead generation for your restoration business, then the answer is yes, you should be using call tracking. So if you need any help or you have any questions with uh, call tracking setup and how you can use it to really take your marketing campaigns to the next level, feel free to give us a call at the number here on a slide is the same number here in the video description. Well, thanks for watching. And until next time, take care and have a great rest of your day.